Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a rational expression. We're given that x plus 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 4, and we're supposed to evaluate x squared plus 4x plus 1 over x plus 2 quantity squared. I'll be presenting two methods, even though you can do this problem in three different ways. I'll just talk about the maybe the third method briefly, but I'm not going to use it. So, let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to start working with this expression. Since I don't know the answer to this one, that's what I'm trying to find. I'm going to go ahead and make a common denominator. That's going to give me x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then I will divide this by x plus 2, and that is equal to 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 8. And then I will collect everything on the same side, subtract 4x and then subtract 8, and this gives me x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 0. Now, I could solve for x, find the value of x, and I believe those values are going to be 1 plus minus 2 square root of 2. Uh, you can actually look at the video that I made on Poche and Lowe's method for solving quadratic equations. It's a pretty interesting shortcut and it actually allows me to mentally solve these kinds of problems. Okay, now I'm not going to solve the equation, but here's what I'm going to do. And this is a very common method that, that is used with polynomials. What do we do? We isolate the highest power. So from here, I'm going to isolate x squared and I can write it as 2x plus 7. So this is going to be my way of substituting into the equation. I'm going to replace a, every x squared that I see with 2x plus 7. And then we're going to keep seeing it a few times. And every time I see an x squared, I'll replace it with 2x plus 7. So that's the whole idea. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, write the expression that we're trying to evaluate, which is x squared plus 4x plus 1 over x plus 2 squared. So now we have x, x plus 2 squared here, but we can go ahead and expand it, right? And write it like this. So this is the expression we're trying to evaluate. And then now we're going to replace x squared with 2x plus 7. Let's go ahead and do it. When I do it here on the left-hand side, I mean uh, here, there's only one side, 2x plus 7, I get 2x plus 7 plus 4x. I could probably just directly write it, right? That should be fairly easy for you guys. So when I replace this with 2x plus 7, I can write it like this, 2x plus 7 here and here, I get 6x plus 7 plus 1 over 6x plus 11, because I have 7 plus 4, right? And then let's make a common denominator. This is what I meant by, you'll keep seeing it. Uh, if you multiply 6x plus 7 by 6x plus 11, you're going to get 36x squared, and now you're going to get plus uh, 66x plus 42x, uh, that is going to give you a 100, let's see, 66 six plus 42 is going to give you 108x, and then plus 77, but then plus 1, that is going to be 78. Okay, this is what I'm getting from here, right, hopefully. And now, we see the x squared again, one more time. So let's go ahead and replace this x squared with 2x plus 7 as well, and let's see what happens from here. Okay. So I'm going to replace x squared with 2x plus 7. Notice that I'm not really finding the value of x, but constantly replacing x squared with 2x plus 7. That is the formula. Now I'm going to go ahead and distribute 72x plus 252, right, I think, plus 108x plus 78 divided by 6x plus 11. And then if you hear anything like a running sound, that's my cat you get 180x plus 330 divided by 6x plus 11. She just wants to be crazy at night time. Anyway, so we take out a 30 because we can factor it out. And guess what happens when we do that? Something amazing happens. Of course, this has been pure energy, right? I know. Okay, so you get the same thing, of course. Uh, we're expecting a numerical value. Even though I didn't tell you that, it just happens. Okay, so the answer is 30. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I hope this made sense, so let me recap real quick. I worked with the first equation, made a common denominator, isolated x squared, 
And then just in the second expression, I kept substituting 2x plus 7 for x squared until I get a linear expression in the numerator and the denominator, and then it just happens to cancel out. And here's my second method. For my second method, I would like to obviously use a different approach, right? That should be a different method. Let me rewrite the given expression. And then let me rewrite what is being asked. What am I supposed to evaluate? x squared plus 4x, so kind of like implies maybe, plus 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 4. I could also keep it like this, x plus 2 quantity squared, doesn't really matter, no big deal, because you know what it is. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to find. But how do I find it from here? So the presence of x plus 2 squared and x squared plus 4x reminds me something. So let me go ahead and expand x plus 2 one more time just to show you. x plus 2 squared is x squared plus 4x plus 4. So I kind of see that here, part of it, and I kind of see that here. And I also see the x plus 2. So that should give me some clues, right? So these are some of the clues that you can use uh, for the technique that we're going to use. So anyways, I'm going to start off with what is being asked. So I'm supposed to evaluate x squared plus 4x plus 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 4. Uh, I want to have a 4 here too. So let's go ahead and add 4 and subtract 4. 4 minus 4 is 0, so we're good. But now I want to write it this way. x squared plus 4x plus 4. So I'm going to take that 4 and bring it over here. And then write the term in the middle, the fraction, the rational, whatever. And then put the negative 4 at the end. So now take a look at this expression and that expression. They are the same. So that was my goal, right? Okay, let's leave it at that. And we can actually write it in a nicer form. So let's go ahead and write this as x plus 2 squared plus 1 over x plus 2 squared minus 4. This is what I'm trying to find, right? So let's put a question mark. Now let's go back to what is given. I was given x plus 1 over x plus 2 equals 4. And the presence of x plus 2 in different places, several places, make me think, aha, uh -huh, i got to add 2 to both sides. So let's go ahead and do it. If I add 2 to both sides, nothing happens, right? Well, something interesting happens, actually. I get the x plus 2 twice. And notice that my expression is very similar to this. Wouldn't that be nice if I squared both sides of this expression? And the answer is yes. If you square it, you're going to get a squared plus b squared. That's how I like doing it. Of course, you can do it differently. Plus 2ab, but 2ab is just 2 because these are reciprocals. And on the right-hand side, I get a 36. Hmm. Let's subtract 2 from both sides and get our expression. Just like x stuff on the left-hand side, this is going to equal 34. So I found the value of this, but is that what I'm looking for? Nope, I'm looking for this. Let me rewrite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for x plus 2 squared plus 1 over x plus 2 squared minus 4. Remember, this minus 4 comes from the fact that we added a 4 here, so they kind of balance out. But I know that this is already equal to 34. Wow, that's crazy, right? This is equal to 34. Therefore, 34 minus 30. Okay, slow down. 34 minus 4 is equal to 30. And that is the right answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.